The song Circle of Life in the movie The Lion King is a stark reminder of how life both starts and ends. So why not introduce this same concept to the consumption of tea? By providing us with a reminder of how the food cycle ends, we have that product right here. It's the poop-shaped tea infuser. Let's read the ad. Funny poop-shaped tea filter, silicone, tea infuser, portable tea strainer. Portable tea strainer? Yeah, in comparison to all of those tea strainers that aren't portable? At a $75 price point, they really might be overestimating the fake poop tea infuser market. However, at the sale price of $7, I thought it was worth a shot. I note though, only a single review, but it was five stars. So clearly, this completely exceeded someone's expectations. I really want to meet that person one day. Actually, probably not. Anyways, I guess we should all get on our excitement pants, unbox this thing, and then give it a Mr. Tasteful score. Okay, time to open this one up. We'll get our fake poop opening scissors. Packaged very tightly, this one. Obviously, they knew that there was a quality item inside. Okay, it's called stool tea. Very clever. go. Okay, so opening up, we've got the butt cheeks. Nice little slot there so we can hold on to the side of a glass. And then the stool at the bottom. Having a look underneath. Pops open. Inside you place your tea. Close it back up. Drop it into the boiling water. And off you go to Flavor Town. Time to do a test. So we've got our clear glass. For optimal viewing pleasure. Let add in our hot water from the thermos. It's giving me a bit of a squeeze. There is a bit of give here. So they've had fiber in the diet. We're using the finest of Twining's Earl Grey tea bags today. Normally you'd put in loose leaf tea, but I don't have any. This will have to do. So we'll close it up. Just remembering again, that slot at the bottom. Into the cup it goes. It's a slight problem already. The stool appears to be floating rather than sinking. Ah, there we go. Dunking pleasure. Just give it a few dunks.
I was really hoping that these speed holes in the side of the poop would help with the brewing process. But it's more of just a slow seepage. Got that cloudy water now. In traditional poop terms, this would be like the grog bog the next day. We'll just give it a bit of movement there. We can see that cloudy water slowly getting darker. So does it work as a tea strainer? Yes, it does. Let's give it a Mr. Tasteful score. We're scoring the poop tea infuser on the factors of weird, tacky, functional. Starting with weird, the poop does give a cheap laugh, but poop is more of the default novelty gift these days. It's not overly original at all. Three out of 10. Moving on to tacky, it's poop, seven out of 10. Finally, functionality. The tea infuser works, but I don't really feel like drinking the tea anymore. Five out of 10. This leaves Mr. Tasteful with a bad taste in his mouth and a score of 15 out of 30. Having a look at the Mr. Tasteful leaderboard, the Poop Tea Infuser moves into position number eight on 15 points. It's just below the Dave Grohl cushion cover and just above the fake thumbs from episode number seven. Up the top of the list, we still have the fake camel toe and the delicious meat socks. As Sir Elton John composed the song, Circle of Life, I'm sure that he had this product in mind. In fact, I think he even might be a Mr. Tasteful subscriber. There are dozens of them. You should subscribe too. Cut camera to scene of Rafiki holding Simba up in the air. Close scene.